Welcome back to Flashpoint. On Tuesday, CMS set to welcome in a bunch of new leaders to the school board. It all comes amid growing concerns about everything from leadership to test scores. Joining us now, CMS board member elect Stephanie Sneed, who will represent East Charlotte, District 4. Uh, you're one of several incoming board members who, who beat out an incumbent. It's not your first time either. We've had you on the show before as well. What do you think it is uh, about the, the current climate that helped push you over the finish line this time? I believe that it is because, you know, I think it resonated that I, you know, wanted a fresh perspective from the school board. You know, I think that, you know, I, I constantly had that theme throughout the election, um, you know, that I, drink, I bring a different perspective, particularly as a parent um, of a young child that's in CMS, as well as a, you know, a labor and employment attorney, a grassroots um organizer for lack of better words i think it just it was time for a, a new perspective and people believed in, in in that message you represent one of the most diverse parts of charlotte east charlotte as we mentioned and we have seen how hard this pandemic has hit specifically students of color how do you think the board can help uh these students raise some test scores that we, we know students of color have have disproportionately struggled during this pandemic it's been a problem for years what do you think is the first thing the board can do to help sort of raise and close, more importantly, that, that, that achievement gap? Well, it's a number of things, right? So one, we have to have a labor, labor laser focus on where we are um, in, in student outcomes. And then we have to have a specific plan in order to be able to move that forward and have aggressive goals to do so. Um, one of the number one things is, which I'm sure you're gonna get into, is that we have to make sure that we hire the correct superintendent that is going to move us in that direction to change the trajectory of these students. Okay, we'll go ahead and go there. Um, talk about the, 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 the uh, superintendent, the interim superintendent, Hugh Hadamoff, stepping down. Um, we knew he was going to be interim. We didn't know he was going to be this interim. So, so going forward, what is your mind is the biggest quality that you are looking for in a new superintendent? So, of course, it's always, if you always ask you to say the one quality, but I would say the top qualities are um, essentially that it has to be a person that has the knowledge, skills, and abilities to, to order to do this work, to change student outcomes. Like, we have to have someone that has a proven record that is being transformative and that can align with uh, aggressive goals of the board in order to change that trajectory. The other thing is, you know, it really has to have someone who is going to be able to connect with connect with our diverse population and has the 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 fortitude the desire to be a change agent and to stick it out right to stay with us um, until we get this transformation complete at um, the very least what what do you think I spoke to Lisa Klein as well uh, and she's echoed some of the same things that, that you're mentioning but what do you think prior boards have done wrong when it comes to picking uh, a CMS superintendent over the last years? Because, I mean, if you look over just like the last 10 years or so, I think the CMS is now on its sixth superintendent, something like that. What, what, what have they been doing wrong in picking their selections? Well, I will say this, you know, we're not engaged in that process of selection, right? We, you know, the public generally hasn't been. I think that what we can do forward in making sure we're moving right is in the right direction is to make sure that we are um you know valuing what our community members want in a superintendent and particularly um paying close attention to what we need from the superintendent and make sure that those skills align in what we need here in charlotte mecklenburg uh this upcoming year is going to be a big one when it comes to uh redrawing school boundary lines certainly going to affect your district in, in, as well um what would you like to see happen there um, again, we have to make sure that we're making the right decisions that, you know, that are that are balanced, that are fair. Um, the main thing, you know, people, uh, you know, the student assignment process is, is very contentious, right? People are, are very anxious about it. And we have to make sure that we are listening to the public, right? That we aren't just going out saying that this is what we're going to do. I think we would have to say what our parameters are and what our considerations are with student, when student assignment boundaries are drawn 
but also take the interest in of families. Um, that is very important. I mean, these have um, serious impacts on, um, you know, feeder patterns. Um, if siblings can go to the same school, like, will that change? We have to listen to listen to our constituents um, in, in addressing what their concerns are. A lot of new faces on the board, as you will well aware. Uh, Lisa referred to them, as you all, as the fresh five. Um, yes. What, what, what do you think is sort of your all's charge going into this next year, um, being so many of you are new? So our charge is one, is to make sure, um, one, that we're representing representing our community in the best way that we know how, and we're moving forward that will change uh, the trajectory of students' lives. Our decisions have generational impacts, right? So as the Fresh Five, I think that, you know, one of the key things that we remain is that we kind of stay the Fresh Five, you know. And what I mean by that is that we were elected essentially um, because we are fresh, because we are bringing in new ideas. So, you know, so merging those with our uh, our tenured or, or senior uh, uh, school board members, make sure that we are, you know, making making sure that we are participating and bringing our fresh ideas with um, with them uh, uh, to to express those on the board as well. Folks watching this right now, um, whether they're parents or whether they're teachers or whether perhaps uh, we have a few students in the audience as well who watch Flashpoint on a weekly basis, what would your message be to them um, if perhaps they, they've not been happy with the way things have gone in the last few years when it came to CMS? Talk to us. Talk to us, right? Tell us what, what it is that you're not happy about. Tell us um, how we can make things better. I think that we have an obligation to do so. Um, we all have a perspective. You know, we all come in with a certain lens. We have a diverse, the Fresh Five is a diverse group of, of people. We have parents um, of school-age children. We have corporate executive. We have legal experience. We have employment law experience. We have prior teachers and administrators so we have a diverse group um to add to the board to the add to the members that are already on the board but communicate with us what is it that you're dis what are you, what is it that you're dissatisfied about tell us all right stephanie sneed thanks for coming on flashpoint once again we appreciate it thank you again all right take care and happy holidays as well happy holidays to you more flashpoint after this